solving multi-step equations by combining like terms. And like I said in the last video, multi-step equations means there's more than two steps to solving this equation. So here's how I approach when I have to combine like terms. I look at the equal sign. Remember this equal sign. This equal sign divides my equation into two sides, the side on the left, the side on the right, okay? And I look to both sides and before I start solving it, I notice that I have like terms that I need to simplify first. Now, the sign or the operation in front of the term belongs to that term. So here I have a minus 7x and here I have a positive 8x. So before we do anything, we have to simplify this, okay? So let's do that. On this left side, I have 28. Just bring it down. We're not going to work with that yet. And on this side, 8x minus 7x, that gives me 1x. And in class, we use the term bananas. I said I have 8 bananas minus 7 bananas. How many bananas do I have left? One banana. 1x, okay? And then plus 12, you bring that down. And now you've reached a point in your equation where you can solve this very simply. This is, you, this is really a one-step equation, which we saw way back. I think it was section 1, 2, or 1, 3. Okay, so how do we solve this now? Well, you look at your variable and your variable is being added by 12. So how do I undo the operation of adding 12? Well, we undo it by subtracting 12 on this side and subtracting 12 on the other side. On this side, 28 minus 12 is equal to 16 equals. On this side, I have x. And then 12 minus 12, that becomes 0, and you're done. And we usually write the variable on the left side, OK? And I'm able to change this because of the symmetrical property of equality, OK? It says if a is equal to b, then b is equal to a. That means I can change their position. And there's your answer, x is equal to 16. Common mistakes that students make. Common mistakes here are these. Let me show you what a common mistake here is. So be careful with this. And I'm going to do a video on this topic. My next video will be on when we have variables on both sides of the equal sign. Some students will do this. Watch. They will subtract. They will add 7x and 7x. They will do this on the same side of the equal sign. And that is wrong. Do not do this, OK? When you have variables that are like terms on the same side of the equal sign, you need to simplify them first. That means combine them together and make one variable, OK? So be careful. Do not do this. Here's example two. Again, whenever you see an equation, always try and draw a river down the equal sign just so that you're sure what one side is and what the other side is. Okay, now notice on the left side, I have two terms that I can join together. I have 2y and I have plus 5y. So these are like terms. What do I do with like terms? I combine them. So this is two bananas plus five bananas. That makes a total of seven y minus 7 comes down equals 0. And now I have a two-step equation, OK? So I can do my do undo table if you want. You don't have to, but it helps. What is going on with this variable? Well, y is being multiplied by 7. And then I'm subtracting 7. So I switch the numbers and I switch operations. If I'm Subtracting 7, the first thing I'm going to do is add 7. If I'm, and if I'm multiplying by 7, I'm going to divide by 7. Okay, So let's do the first step, which is add 7. So when I add 7 to this side and to the other side, 
seven y is equal to seven. And I ran out of space here, so I will continue over here. Seven y is equal to seven. The second step is divide by seven. So I'm going to divide by seven on both sides. This becomes one y because seven over seven is one equals, and seven divided by seven is one. And I said before that if we have one y, it's the same thing as writing y equals one. When the coefficient of the variable is a one, we don't write it, okay? So y is equal to one, and you're done.